Welcome to my channel. <laughs> right there is Miss Ruka. She's my uh, 11 week old Lycan Shepherd puppy and this is her first walk in the snow. You can see they're pretty excited about all the fresh snow. Come on. It's a beautiful day. Again, these early hikes I do with, or walks I do with them on leash are getting them uh, prepared for our off-leash hikes in a few weeks. I use a light flexi lead like this, which gives them the illusion that they're off-leash, but I can use it to coax them along if they're not complying. And uh, we just have them follow along and get them used to staying in the area. And it helps imprint that behavior into them so that when we're doing our off-leash work later on, you'll see them uh, exhibiting the same behavior as my adults do in our hikes, where they range ahead a bit and are constantly checking back on me. This is how we set and develop that foundation. Good girl. Got uh, several inches of snow last night. I uh, shot some videos of the pups playing in it. They had a great time. It's on the channel if you want to see it. Again, I give these puppies the illusion that they're off leash. And I'm teaching them to range and follow along with me. Now we'll begin their formal leash training a few weeks after we start doing their off-leash work. I find starting them out like this a lot better because it accustoms them to the off-leash behaviors I want to develop in them much better than if I started with a leash and started doing strict leash training right away. And when I do go to strict leash training, they take to it like immediately because they're already accustomed to following along and being tied to me. Again, we don't care where she walks as long as she's following along and listening at this point. You always want to keep these training sessions fun and positive for them. Watching some work, been a load of truck over there. Oh, sweetie, she cutie. Those eyes. Good girl. Good girl. Again, you want to give them lots of praise. You want to keep these fun and you want to reassure them. Big bus driving down the street there. Again, these are all new sounds and experiences for her. She's just turned 11 weeks old. And you can see now, as you've watched a couple of these walks with these guys progress, how their behavior has changed. And they're going to the front of the lead more, checking things out, getting more confident being out. You know, it's all part of socialization. You know, there's all kinds of new sounds, experiences, smells, and all for that for them to take in. And it can sometimes be a little overwhelming for a puppy. You just gotta be patient with that. You gotta remember that they experience the world from a lot different perspective and through senses that are a lot more heightened than ours. And what we might not notice are things that uh, 
may make them react strongly. You know, people spend so much time trying to get their dogs to understand them that they don't spend enough time trying to understand their dogs and what their dogs are communicating to them too. And uh, I hope by watching my videos that uh, people start doing that. You know, that's one of the reasons why I make them. I want to help people have a better relationship with their dogs and understand them better. There's some dogs in the window barking at her. Bunch more crazy dogs barking at the window there. She's like, and? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Again, we give them the clicks first to coax them along. And if that doesn't work, then we give them a quick little tug and continue doing the clicks. You don't ever want to raise your voice or get stressed or anything like that, especially when training. Dogs can, and other animals can feel your emotions. Emotions have energy. And even though a lot of people can't perceive them, some can, I can, dogs can. And so, it's good to learn how to control your emotions and project the emotions you want to send to the animals you're working with. You know, it's something I, that I really learned to do well as an animal warden, you know, because one of my jobs was to deal with injured uh, wildlife and aggressive animals. And being able to progress, to uh, project the right energy at those times uh, is what made me a very good warden why I was able to uh, catch a lot of a lot of animals that needed help. Uh, she's watching a snowblower over there. She's never seen one. Again, we let her take it in, and we keep moving. She sees that I'm not stressed. I'm not reacting to it, so she's not. She's interested, but again, she sees I'm ignoring it. She sees that I'm calm, and so she's feeding off of that energy. You'll notice that on my hikes too. It's one of the reasons why when we run into dominant dogs, a lot of those situations are easily resolved and part of that is my energy which transfers to my dogs. And that in turn transfers to the dogs that are starting to be, you know, aggressive for uh, whatever reason. You really gotta learn how to Look at dogs uh, and other animals from a different perspective. Again, they don't perceive the world with human eyes. They don't think quite like we do. And so what we might perceive in a situation or a certain situation or a behavior might be read totally differently by an animal. But again, what do I know? I'm just some guy on YouTube. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> well, I do have over 30 years experience working with dogs. There are a variety of opinions on the topic. This is just mine. Ooh, she saw that squirrel. She was interested. If I got him on film. We have squirrels everywhere here. They're in all the trees. Gray squirrels. We have red squirrels too, but uh, they're really not in the residential areas. They seem to be uh, down at the river and more wilderness areas.
Oh, oh, this way. Good girl. Oh, we can get that up here. There you go. Well, there you go. That was uh, Ruka's first hike in the snow. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get uh, email notifications when our new videos come out. That's all. Also, hit our, uh, hit our merch store. Bye. Ready to go inside, sweetie? Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. Yeah!